Okay. Okay. Oh, we are live. We are live and checking our things. Yeah, Michelle, if you could just scoot in more, I'll scoot this way. Okay. Well, I think I can scoot in very much more. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's check our chats. Check the volume. And we good. All right. Friends, we are live at five. Thank you for joining us. It's another great day here in sunny, sunny Southern California. Um, we got the volumes off and everything. Yes. We're good to go. My name is Ruel Gaviola. I'm joined by my wife, Michelle. Hello. And our daughter, Lauren. Hello. We do this every day at five o'clock here, Pacific time, playing a different board game um, because it's our way to connect with you, our friends, family, new friends, new family. <laughs> and uh, it's our way to flatten the curve by staying at home making sure we're safe, we're washing our hands, we're practicing physical distancing, but social distancing, we get over through the wonders of technology. We are, what, what do we say? We are exiling ourselves for the good of the realm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're doing. That's a fun way to put it. So we thank you. We get t-shirts made. <laughs> I know, we, we should. That'd be great. Um, we thank you again for joining us and spending part of your day with us here. I'm going to shout out, as always, to the first responders and uh, healthcare professionals amongst our friends and family, and also those who are just serving um, all of us during these crazy, crazy times. Um, today, as we always do, we start with a quick mental health check. And Michelle, what's happening with you these days? I made a lot of cookies. Yeah, <laughs> we enjoyed them last night. Well, some of them last some night. Some of them, yes. I purposely only baked a couple dozen because. <laughs> You know, they'd be gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're rationing. Awesome. Yes. And they were good. And again, stay well fed, as I'm sure everyone is out there. Um, and treat yourself every now and then as well. Uh, anything else? Or... No. Oh, cool. Um, today is Taco Tuesday. I don't know where we're going to do tacos for dinner tonight. But no, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not going to do tacos. Okay. Lauren, how are you? How are you? Um, I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I normally am not on the, the live stream on Mondays because I have a really packed day, but I also was not on on Sunday either because I was working on school stuff all weekend. Yeah. And um, I the we're almost halfway through the quarter and assignments are really just starting to pile on. Mm -hmm. um, and so I tried working this afternoon and I just am still really tired. Yeah. Yeah. So, I hear you. Yeah. Well, um, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, this Always. is a good break. Yes, yes. And that's what we do. We enjoy each other's company, and hopefully y'all can hang out and just chill with us. We play a game. Shout out in the uh, chat if you want or if you have questions about the game. Um, my, my mental health check, I'm doing okay. I took a big nap today, so I feel a lot better. Uh, we also gave Bruno, our pug, a bath today. Yes. He needed it. Um, <laughs> oh, stinky. He was a stinky pug. Um I didn't sleep well last night because I had that tea. Remember the boba? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been on a boba kick. Yeah. So. My tea kept me up late last night. That's why I know I'm getting old when tea keeps me up like that. Um, <laughs> but it was delicious. And uh, Michelle and I are making really good progress on our thousand piece puzzle, which is great. We're almost, I'd say about three quarters of the way done with it. Two yeah. thirds of the way, maybe. Yeah. We've been, the last couple of nights we've stayed up and, you know, worked on that puzzle. It's starting to come together. I think I've contributed three pieces. Hey, every little piece counts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are playing Amul today from Stronghold Games. Um, thanks to them for the copy of the game. This is um, our first time going to run through it, so bear with us. If you have questions, we'll try to answer them as best we can. But we are traders in the um, 10th century. Uh, we're talking about the Mongols. We're talking about the Arabs. And we're all at this market in the city of great city of Amul. And it's a set collection and drafting game. So um, those of you who are familiar with like Seven Wonders, this is has a similar feel to it. Um, it doesn't really have an engine building as like um, It's a Wonderful World, but it does have that similar um, set collection and drafting aspect of Seven Wonders. So on a turn, we're going to play nine rounds. And each round is really simple. And we just um, deal out cards in the market here and or one card in the market. And then each of us will contribute one card to the market face down. We reveal them simultaneously, and then starting with the player with the first pick, uh, they are going to take one of those cards into their hand. Then uh, the rest of us will too, and we discard the last one. And then from our hands, we're going to choose one to play onto the table. 
Um, the table, when you place on a card, like they're going to look like, here, let me just grab an example, like this Arab sword. Uh, you're going to look at, the, you have symbols here. You also have the points. This one's worth zero. However, if you have a card on your table that has a military symbol, then you will be getting four points instead of zero. And all of these cards work that like, like that. There's just different ways to collect different sets, different ways to score them, depending on either what you have or what your opponents have or what the entire table has. It just, the cards that come out, we'll just explain them as we go. Um, at the end of the round, we just do a little cleanup by refilling the market and stuff, passing the first player card. After the third round, we're gonna play nine. After the third, fourth and up, we are going to look at our military strength and the person who has the most military strength, that was the card with the little swords there. The person with the most military strength will go first in choosing cards from the market. So you do sort of want to pay attention to the military at that point. If there's a tie with military, you just go to the little letter there, closest to A goes first. I uh, just want to shout out, shout out to Ellen. Hey, thanks for joining us, Ellen. Her and her husband, Randy, do really great um, live streams for the Dice Tower. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So I'm going to shuffle these up here. And any questions from my fellow players? I actually do have a question. Yeah. I didn't even notice this earlier. What are these numbers here? They're not in order. Yeah, this is a good question. This is uh, strictly for setup. So for three players, we put one card in the market, uh, four players. And so okay. Forth. So that's one cool thing about this game. It plays up to eight players. And from what I've heard, it plays really well, at like six and above. We're just going to go through three players because that's all we have here in our, <laughs> in our home. In the we Gabby don't guy. can't play. Yeah, our pug, <laughs> pug can't join us today for this one. Um, but it does, from what I've heard, it does play well at um, higher player counts. So uh, with that being said, uh, shall we start? Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to deal out a card for everyone. We all have six. And we are going to put one out in the market. So in the market right now, there is a silver. And that this is the card we're discarding? Uh, we're going to put it in the market, basically. And the other players may choose it. Oh, right. right, right. Yeah. So it is sort of like a discard. Okay, so if it's like a person, yeah, you can place you anything. Can you place can place that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, but do I want to? For those of you who just joined us, thank you again. My name is Ruel. My wife Michelle, our daughter Lauren. We do this every day at five o'clock here on Pacific, live at five. We play a different board game uh, because we love doing it, and we appreciate you stopping by. Uh, so now we're going to pick a card, and first we reveal the market. Okay. Who has first pick? Um, I have first pick, and then we're going to, there's first pick card, and then we'll rotate from there. So I'm going to choose, ooh, interesting. I'm going to choose the Arab Caravan. Lauren? Spice. Michelle? I guess I get the Mongol part, or can I take you the You can silver? Shake, choose either. I wouldn't like this guy. Okay. So this guy's going to be discarded at the end of the round. Now, we go to reveal a card. So you're gonna choose one from your hand and play play it either to the uh, or you're gonna play it to the table. Basically, you're, we're building tableaus. Okay, spice. Okay. I'm putting my Arab guard on the table. Okay, I am going to play my uh, spice. Okay, so this doesn't move, right? The yeah. things we play on the table. Yeah. So these are the things that we've um, added to our little tableau here, and they stay there until the end of the game. We're going to score two things at the end of the game. We're going to score what's on the table and what's in our hand. So you'll notice if you can, uh, there's symbols here. Uh, this has a little table. That means I must play it on the table. If there's one with a hand, that will remain in my hand till the end of the game. So you're basically doing two different uh, types of set collection in your hand and also on the table, but sometimes they synergize and you'll score points based on both. There's also one thing I didn't mention. Uh, there are two factions, Arabs and Mongols. You will score majority for those. So on these here, uh, this one here, the yurt, this symbol is the Mongol symbol. The one with the star is the Arab symbol. Uh, at the end of the game, we're going to reveal all our cards and whoever has the most in each symbol will, will receive eight points. And then second place gets four and so forth. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of first round. Lauren, move the round tracker one, please. We discard this one. The first pick goes to Lauren. And we rinse and repeat. So everyone gets a, should have six cards now. And in the market is another Arab guard. A lot of guards here at this market. Well, you know, you don't want people to be taking your things. That's right. You work hard for this business. <laughs> Okay, and then again, we are going to place one in the market to choose. Ooh. I don't know if I like that one. 
Okay. And then we reveal spice. We have an Arab guard, a spice, a camel, and a Mongol guard. So Lauren will choose first. Um, so spice, just this works like this. For every, uh, for the first spice card you get, you get two points. If you have a set of two, you, uh, it's worth six points. Uh, the camels, this is interesting. So the camels, uh, you look at the cards on the entire table, and that determines how much each camel is worth. So if there are four camels on the table, they're each worth four points. So if I had four camels, I was the only one, then I would get 16 points. And Lauren, you will choose first. Arab guard. Arab guard to Lauren. Oh, in my hand. Yep. Okay. Oh, me. Mm -hmm. um, spice. Dang it. Okay. I think that's what I put out. What am I crying about? Um, <laughs> no, I put out the spice. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I am going to choose to choo, 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 choose. I'm gonna get the Mongol guard. No, I want the camel. Mongol guard is gonna go away. And now we play a card to our tableau. We can do this all simultaneously. Okay. Um, gold spice. I'm gonna put a uh. Put a trading house. Yeah, so question. Yeah. Okay, so these cards here that have been discarded, do they, they ever come back into play? Nope, they're out of the game. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so we have done the second round. Now we do a little cleanup. We toss that card. This goes to the third round. Pass the first pick card, please. Oh. Super fast game, folks. Uh, this gets here. Everyone gets draws a card. Michelle will go first. And after this round, we're going to look at the military, and that's who's going to determine who goes first from this point on. Oh, wait. I put this down. I put this gold down, but it's got a hand. Uh, Is that something I have to keep in my hand? You must keep it. You could throw it oh. there, but it's going to get discarded. So go ahead and play a card. It's going to get discarded. Because it doesn't have a table symbol. Oh. Yeah, you want to play the table symbol. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Play those table symbols first. Okay, my bad. That's no, all good. All good. Okay. What is the difference between the Bazaar, Palace, and Market? Uh, bazaar, Palace, and Market. So great question. Bazaar is here. These are the cards on the bazaar. Oh. These are the cards in the palace. And the market is what we've been playing with. Uh, to get cards from the bazaar or palace, you must play a card that says take from those spots. I see. Otherwise, we just go through the uh, market. Okay. So uh, now we're going to place in the market. Cousin Joe is watching. Hey, Cousin Joe. Thanks for joining us. All right. Uh, so, Michelle, we, we can oh. all place here. Did I place the card? I don't even no, remember. No, I didn't. Yeah, okay. six in your hand? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. No okay. worries. Um, hmm. So everything in your hand, you can score at the end if at it's the, got the hand symbol. It has the hand okay, symbol. Okay, gotcha. Correct. Correct. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. So again, you're always trying to work. The, that's what the tension in this game is. You're trying to figure okay. out which ones to stay in your hand, which ones you, you're going to get rid of in the uh, tableau here. Uh, so Michelle and we'll go first. We have two things of gold, porcelain and silver. Okay. Um, porcelain. Okay. Hmm. I'll take, yeah, I'll take silver. So we can take Lauren, gold or gold. gold. All right, Lauren takes gold. We add those to our hand, and then we choose one to play. Again, look for the table symbol. I will play the Arab guard. Okay. Dang it. Oh, do you get this? Uh, yeah, at the end of the turn. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play um, my contract. So you don't put yours here? Uh, we're playing into our tableau now. We're on this step. Oh, uh, we have oh, drafted. Kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. okay. No worries. All right. So I played my contract. And what this card does is at the end of the game, it's going to be worth two cards, but I immediately take a card from the bazaar and place it to my tableau. So that one I'm going to choose this here, the Hellenic Trader. This one, I have the Hellenic Trader. It's worth zero points. However, if I have spice, camel, and silver, it's going to be worth six points. Okay. That's the end of the round. We are into round four. Choose this. Thank you. We've done our cleanup. This goes here, and we each get a card. Okay. 
Hey, Daryl's watching. Hey, Daryl. All right. And now we are in the fourth round. From this point on, we're going to look at the military strength we each have, and whoever has most will go first. I have no military strength. Lauren has I have one. one. I have one, and I have letter B. Yes. And I have letter C. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so Michelle, on her, the strength of her military, she will choose first, then Lauren, then me. Uh, but first, we choose one card to place in the market, and okay, then you. So will should choose. I keep this then? Uh, no, it just this? stays here. Okay. We just yeah. This is a reminder here uh, that the military strength will be determined who goes first. So you're actually stealing Ruel's first pick. Exactly. Ah, yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna place. Okay, so now we reveal here. We have a carpet, a Mongol relic, Arab merchant, and a Mongol caravan. And because of the strength of Michelle's military, she draws first. Lauren gets second choice because her, her military, then I get the final choice. Hmm. Okay, so that Mongol caravan. Mongol caravan is one point for every Mongol symbol that you have in your cards. So you have none right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to take that carpet. Okay. Shoot. Okay, Lauren won the carpet, but now she has a choice. <laughs> nice Persian carpet right yeah, there. Yeah, right? Oh. Nothing but the finest goods here in Amul. <laughs> Wait. Question? No. Okay, yeah, I will take this one. Darn, that's the one I wanted. Okay. Well, Mom took the one I wanted. Okay, well, we're all hosing each other. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm going to get the Mongol caravan. We're going to discard the Mongol relic. And now um, we place a card in our tableau. Okay, um, I'm going to place silver. Placing porcelain. Porcelain. I'm placing the contract. Okay. So I, I get to, I immediately get to take a card from the bazaar. Yes. Uh, to my table. Correct. So I will take the Assyrian trader. Yeah, you got those two spices. Well yep. done, Lauren. All right. So that's the end of that round. Now we um, rinse and repeat, right? Reveal card, resolve, empty market, pass the first pick card. So first pick card goes to Lauren, market, and then new card. You should have six cards. We are going to add one to the market now. This is round five. Boo. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Boo. Um, oy, 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 oy. Okay. What am I going to give you? Wow, oh, I want to yeah. keep all of them. All of them. Who am I helping? It? So I, I'm noticing this is like you can totally hate draft in this game. But you wouldn't do that. Uh, I don't know. I'll put that out there. So on the board right now is oil, and then we've added two cards. Uh, update on military strength. Did anyone add any military last round? No. Nope. Okay, then it will still be Michelle, Lauren, then me. <sighs> Oh, I don't want to get rid of that either. How are you all doing out there today? What are you playing? What are you eating? What's going on? How are you doing? Hopefully everything is going well for you. We're eating cookies. We are going to eat cookies for dinner. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have the oil. We have the thief, the carpet, and spice. So the thief is interesting. This character, at the it's worth negative one point. But at the end of the game, you get to take zero to two cards from the palace and add it to your um, tableau. Ah. Sort of cool. Minus one points, but it could give you more points here. If there are any cards left in the palace. So Michelle first, then Lauren based on the strength of military, then I'll go last. I get the scraps. Okay. What do I want? Um, so if I do that, I think I'm going to take another Persian carpet. Okay. Woo I'm going to take the oil. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to... I want that thief. That thief looks sort of cool. Let's try the thief. <laughs> That's how I roll. Those are my peeps. Okay, now we uh, play a card onto our tableau. Again, looking for the table symbol. Okay. Oil. So now I have spice, spice, oil. So I've completed my Assyrian trader. Yeah, so that'll score you extra points at the end. Yes. I, too, have my camel, my silver, my spice for my Hellenic trader. Uh, that'll be worth an extra six points at the end of the game. I have a question about yeah. scoring. Sure. Um, if 
I so you know how in point salad um you can rearrange the cards to fit different templates great question um so can i can i use the spice and spice to score again uh you're going to score the spice and spice for this six points mm -hmm. and then you may use it for one trader mm -hmm. if you have another trader you need extra cards gotcha yep it's a great question and michelle have you placed your i have so I we all have oh, what'd you place silver silver nice oh got a bunch of jewelers over there or something uh i have five cards in my hand do we all have five yes yes okay. mind your own <laughs> we are in round six uh we have the market here which is silver we all get one more card this game flows pretty smoothly yeah it's yeah. pretty straightforward I, I like it okay right now it's a silver then we all choose one to add okay Yeah. Agreed. I'll put this one down. Okay. All right. And update on military. Are we still same military? Yes. Yes. Okay. Michelle gets the first choice. We have the Mongol merchant, which allows you to take a card from the palace immediately, put it on your table. Uh, you have the Arab relic, lamp, and silver. So the Arab Relic, sorry, uh, it's worth seven points, but if you have a Mongol symbol anywhere on your cards, it's worth zero. Um, I will take that silver, please. Okay. Warren. Um, oh. oh, Monique's watching. Hi, Monique. Hey, Monique. Always good to see you, Monique. Really appreciate you stopping in. Monique and Anna Maria will be starting their Thursday uh, live stream, which I'm looking forward to. Sweet. Don't know the name of it yet. I, I don't know if you guys have. Have you guys? Uh, yeah, chosen any. Chosen name. Or... Okay, uh, Lauren, you chose that one. I'm going to choose the Mongol Merchant, and then we play our cards, uh, starting with Michelle, since she has the strongest military. Okay, so I put that on the tablet, right? Correct. Okay, silver. Okay, I'm going to play my Mongol Merchant, which allows me to take a card from the palace immediately. I'm going to take the spice, so now I have two spices. I'm going to play my Arab Merchant, which allows me to take a card from the palace immediately. Mm -hmm. So I will take this one. All right. That's the end of round six. Now, three more rounds left. Round seven. That's I get the first pick. Yeah, we got uh, three more rounds. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay, so the first card in the market is Porcelain. We should have six cards now, and we will be putting one into the market. Ooh, what is this? Do I have that? No, I don't. Isn't it my first pick now? Uh, I lost track. I thought it was mine because you're oh. wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. Oh, these are tough. I don't want to give up this one just yet. Maybe I do. Okay. All right. And we reveal. So we have porcelain, a camel, gold, and a Mongol sword in play. Porcelain's worth points depending on how many you have. Camel, depending on how many everyone else, uh, el the entire table has. Gold is straight up four points. And finally, the Mongol sword is zero points, but it's four points if you have a sword or military strength. Uh, so again, based on military strength, Michelle goes first. No, yeah. I go first. Oh, you go first? You have yeah, more military? Yeah, because I have two now. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone's getting ready to go to war. Yup. We're just trying to like don't be, take my stuff. We're just trying to be friendly merchants here. What's with all the swords, people? <laughs> I will take um I'll take the gold. Oh, okay. And Michelle. I will take the Mongol sword. And I will take the camel. Of course, I guess thrown out. And Michelle or Lauren will go first as far as resolving her effects. Why did I take that one? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I will play the carpet. Carpet, okay. And Michelle. 
Um, I will play Mongol Sword. Okay. And I will play the. Oh, I don't want to play that one. I'll play the Mongol Caravan. That gives me one point for every Mongol symbol in my tableau. Put that there. All right. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. First pick goes to Lauren. This is round eight. Um, this gets revealed, and we each get a card. And same military strength as last turn. Mm -hmm. So Lauren gets first choice after we put cards down here. Ah, no, changing my mind. Sorry. Uh, let's do. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Panda pandas on. Hi, hey, Amanda. Amanda. Made cookies. <laughs> we have in the market an Arab sword, which is zero points, but four points if you have a sword. The camel, which depends on everyone. The contract, which is you get to take a card immediately from the bazaar, place it on your table. So we have one card left in the bazaar. So we'll also worth two points. And we have another Mongol merchant, which is zero points, but you get to take a card from the palace. Lauren, you have the strongest military? Arab sword. Sword. Oh, oh you and your sword people. <laughs> so violent. Why are you such a violent people, Lauren? You're trying. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, do I want that? Do yeah, interesting choices. That? Really interesting choices. Okay, I think I will take the Mongol merchant. Okay. So do I play this immediately? Uh yes, but uh wait till we oh you wait till you put do in your it. hand and okay. then, yeah. I'm gonna take the camel. This gets discarded. Now go ahead and turn order starting with Lauren because she has the strongest military. She will go first and resolve effects. Um I'm playing the Arab sword. Okay. And then now you may do your card. Sure. Okay, so I'll play the Mongol Merchant. So I take a card from the palace and place that on my tableau. Yep. So the palace, you have oil, silver, tent, and yurt. Tent and yurt are just two points, but they have these symbols. Uh, this has Arab, this has Mongol, and has a couple of those symbols. Okay, so if I do the silver, because uh -huh. I already have three for 13, if I get four, do I get more points? Yes, yeah, so you have your 13. Wow, you have 13 points already. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you start a new set, so this one's worth three. So it'd be 13 plus um, 316. Yeah. Um, lamp or the oil. Well, yeah. 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 If you have the lamp, it. Okay. So that goes on my table. Yep. Okay. All right. That's end of round eight. This is the last round. Yikes. Yeah. So fast. Uh, there is a camel in play. That's your final card. Remember, at the end of this turn, uh, any uh, you, we're gonna reveal we're gonna keep our hand cards out. We're, we're gonna play that, and then any other ones get discarded. Huh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. I have six. Did I, I not discard one? How many do you have now? Five. Why do I have six? Did I not discard? You cheated. Did I cheat? What do I have? <laughs> um, here, I'll just... Uh, here, tell you what. Randomly choose one. And I'll just discard. This one. Okay. I don't know what happened to those. Aaron's watching. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Okay. okay. So, so now, now our Lauren, Lauren with, with the strongest military, military will choose first. first. We have a yeah, camel, camel, scavenger, scavenger opium, opium, and another, another camel. camel. So, so opium is worth six points, points, but if you have military yeah, strength, military it's worth zero. zero. Scavenger, scavenger um, um, you get, it's you worth one point, and you get to pick a card from the from market, the market and, add and add it to your table. Or, or add it to your table. And we already talked about camels. So if I get the market card, do I get I just get to choose again right now? No, no. After you've taken our cards, then you get to choose basically what's left. 
So there's only one point of one card left. Yeah. yeah. So it forces so your hand. Uh, take, take the card from the market, market and put it on, on the table. Oh, oh I, I see. see. Yeah. Your second cam unmuted. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I'll take this one. Okay. And Michelle. Um, take your card from the market. From Tableau for the camel. Mm -hmm. I don't want any of them. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> So if I take this, then I take another card? Uh, after I choose mine. Okay. So you're going to get the left. Oh. So, yeah. I want the camel. Want the camel, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'll take opium. That's how we roll with my tribe. Okay. And then, Lauren, you will begin. I'm going to play the camel. Okay. And Michelle. Okay. I'm going to play the lamp. Oh, Robert's watching. Hello. Hey, hey Robert. Robert. Okay. And then I'm going to play... The I'll also play a camel. Okay. That's the end of the game. Now, from your cards, discard anything that does not have a hand symbol. So I'm discarding okay. one. Me too. Two. Okay. And then you're gonna you can reveal your let me get all this stuff out of the way. Oh wait, so I gotta reveal this one. So I have the thief. So end of the game, I take zero to two cards from the palace. I'm gonna take um, silver, yurt. I'm gonna take all three. It's a zero to two. Zero to two. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I can't count. He's a tricky thief. <laughs> yeah, in in keeping with the uh, uh, the uh, theme here, the thief. Okay, so and it's worth negative one point, so I'm gonna lose a point. This one's discarded. This one's discarded. Okay, so now we're going to do the most exciting part, which is score. So. Uh, let's start with, I guess, is it yellow up here? You have to help me with this. Color. Yes. Okay. So go oh, ahead and Angel's grab watching. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. How come it doesn't show on mine? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay. So let's start with the yellows. So. Oh, I got a lot of yellows. Yeah. So what do you do? Just count how many cards of yellow you have? Yeah, so they're going to all score differently. So you have your carpet, which... Oh, so, okay. You so you're nine. not actually counting, like, the card itself. Right. Okay, so, yeah. Uh -huh. Nine, uh -huh. 13. So that's 22. Plus another nine. 31. Plus... So does that, is that the three or the five? The five, I, yeah. Okay, so five. So what was it? Sorry. Nine. So nine and 13. 22. Plus th another nine. 31. Plus five. 36. 36 for Michelle. Yellow. You help me with mine. Uh huh. I have uh, two silvers. Okay, so that's 13. No, no, two, so seven. Oh, just kidding. Seven. Then, okay, this is yellow. So you have two spices. Uh -huh. So six, 13. Anything else? No. Okay, 13 for me. Okay. Lauren. Uh, I think I have 20, but um, I stupidly played this oil card which had a hand symbol on my table because I was trying to get the zero uh, okay. Um So does this count? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll count it. So it's just you don't have a lamp though, right? Right. So it's just three points. <gasps> my cousin Anne is watching. Hi. Hi. Hello from the Philippines. Okay, so. Uh, well, I, I feel like I shouldn't count it because it's this. That's okay. Well, depends. If you win. Then... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's do it. got it. 20. 20. Okay, Lauren has 20. Now, uh, the blue ones. And hi, Patrick. Okay. Hi, Patrick. I, see, I don't see Patrick on mine. Okay, so for my blue, I've got three. Okay. Okay, and then this is four because I have swords. Yep. Okay, so seven for seven. me for blue. Sure. Okay. Uh, for my blue, um, I have, okay, this is blue. Okay, that's purple. purple. This is blue. And that's the only blue you have. Okay, two points. 11. 11 for Lauren. Okay. Uh, next is purple, right? Yes. Okay, so I get eight for my purple. Okay. I have a gold smuggler. Ooh. Okay, and your purple. Wait, how many gold does Lauren earn? Oh, oh this depends on you people. Yeah, I have no gold. 
Oh, I have three gold. Oh, so oh, eight so minus, minus two is, uh, so eight minus six is two, so you get two points. Oh. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Okay. Okay, so two points. That's all. <laughs> um, okay, so your purple's here. So you have one for every symbol like that. So one, two, three, four. So four points. Okay, and then minus uh, one, three. Okay, you got one more purple. So one point for every Trade green symbols. circle. So one, two, three, four. Four more. So seven. Lauren? For purple? Yeah. None. None. Okay, let's just move red. Yes. Okay, red. Okay, I have one point for red. Okay. I have three. Three. I have. And you don't have red. No reds? No. Oh, yeah, because you don't have any military. The yeah, game. no military. Okay. Uh, green. green? Okay, I have no. Oh, no. Oh, I have zero, zero. for green. Okay. Lauren? Okay. Two. Two. I have, I have two, two. Zero. That's it. Okay. This is mine. So two. Mm-hmm. And finally, it's orange. Orange, my camels. I have one camel. I don't have any camels. Okay, I have two. So we have a total of three. They're worth seven points each. So Lauren, you have seven. Yes. I have fourteen. Michelle zero. Um, is this this is a separate thing from it's orange? It's coming. Right? Yep, it's okay. coming up right now. Good call. Uh, now we do the bazaar. That's this one. This symbol here, the the one in orange, it looks, oh. like, looks like a little checkerboard or something. So where is that on the um, card? Upper, right here, uh, upper left, upper right, and upper left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Apparently, I don't have any. Uh, I have one. Okay, four. Uh, six. My Assyrian trader. Uh, it's six points with two spices and an oil. Nice. And I have my Hellenic, Hellenic tra trader. Is it Hellenic or Hellenic? Hellenic. Hellenic trader. Uh, she's worth nothing, but if I have spice, camel, and silver, which I do, it's worth six points. Okay. Now we go to the Arab symbols. Just look at on your cards, count up all the number of uh, Arab symbols, which is the one with the star. Okay. I have one. On all your cards, right? Yeah. Oh, let's count. One, two, three. I have four. Okay. Lauren has four. Michelle has one. One. I have two. Isn't it? Uh... By rank, yes. So, I oh get, yeah, yeah. So first rank, whoever has the most gets eight. Lauren gets eight. Second place gets four, get and third four. place gets two. Two, okay. And then finally, that was Arab. Now Mongols. That's the little flame symbol. Okay, so I have two. I have three. None. Okay. Mom so gets eight. I oh, get no, eight. You get eight. Yep. Mom gets four, four, and I get two. Yeah, I feel like you should get zero, Lauren. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> third rank yeah. gets two. But it, you don't have... Do you qualify for it because you have zero? I'm third. <laughs> okay, we're going to do two. So that's you the... gave two points to mom. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so four for mom, two for mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay now... You get one cheat every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's your one. Okay, now we do uh, some math. So It wasn't cheating. It I'm was... in third place. <laughs> You want to, let's see. So I'll do mine first. I think I lost. So 13 plus 2 is 15, 22, 24, plus 14 is 38, plus 6 is 44, 48, 56. Michelle has 43, 45, 46, uh, 48, 52. Oh. oh. Lauren has 31, 34, 36, plus 7 is 43, 49. Uh, plus eight is fifty-seven. Plus two more, fifty-nine. Wow! I have won even without. I was just those gonna say points. without those two points. Okay, so two points and the oil. Nice, good job, Laura. <laughs> you are the greatest trader in all of Amul. <laughs> nice. It's all about that military. I think you bullied us. I was busy <laughs> shopping for my my carpets yeah. and my silver and porcelain. You're definitely well stocked for uh, the market. Or something. <laughs> you, yeah, you killed in that, but then everything else was sort of low. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw mom's initial 36 points, and I was like, oh, it's game over. Yeah, that's my thought, too. But it's actually pretty close, 59, 56, and 52. Yeah. yeah. So, again, this is the first time playing it, folks. Um, I'll check if we missed any rules, but I feel like we did all, I think, I think we did, did all right. Um. I, I enjoyed it. It's a really interesting um, mix of drafting and set collection. It's 
really it's streamlined. It's we played that in like half an hour. Yeah. So yeah. I, I feel like this would be a good game for those higher player counts where you know you're trying to get a game in within like 40 minutes. You've got like seven players, you don't know what to play. Rather than splitting up in two groups, you can play this. Yeah. And it works the same way. You just get more cards. So there's like a bunch of cards in the box that we don't play with because of three players, but you add a bunch, it just scales beautifully for more players. You just add more cards. So so. This is a lot like um Stellar. We it is. Yesterday. Yeah, we played Seller yesterday. It's a two card, uh, two player card game that has drafting and also tableau building. Mm -hmm. So this, instead of having two tableaus, you have one tableau plus your hand, which yeah. is like a second one, anyways. But yeah, any thoughts on the game? Uh, just as we were playing it, I used to live in Saudi Arabia, so <laughs> um, when um we were kind of practicing the game or learning the game i was like yeah it's a lot eight. like the Sorry. it's a lot like the um souks like the gold souks and mm -hmm. um you know the market yeah over there so yeah cool what about you learning thoughts um i thought it was easy to pick up uh -huh. um i thought it was interesting that you had to like explicitly talk about like the tension of the game because uh -huh. it i think is so subtle that it's yeah. easy to miss. Yeah. Um, and especially because the game goes by so quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I, I just thought the the gameplay in that way was interesting. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, like, easy to learn. Like yep. you said, really streamlined. And I won. So. <laughs> That's also the best, best game, game ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I, I did, it's, it's definitely a keeper in my book. Uh, folks, we're done for today. We have any final thoughts before we get out of here, Michelle? No, I want to make cookies. Yeah, I want to eat cookies. <laughs> Lauren, any final thoughts? I want to play with our dry pug. Yes, we have a nice clean pug after his bath today, and hopefully he's dry. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us. We are live at 5 every day here playing a different uh, board game in order to hang out with each other, but with you as well. We truly appreciate you spending part of your day with us. And a shout out to our first responder family and friends out there. Thank you for keeping us safe. And you at home, stay safe. Wash your hands. Let's flatten that curve. Practice physical distancing, but don't do social distancing because we can uh, stay in touch through the wonders of technology. Until tomorrow, thanks again. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.